Hello Aces, this is Ace Combat Fan speaking and I'm very excited to be sharing some Ace Combat 7 news with you. As you might have heard on the internet, Ace Combat 7 is going to be present at the PlayStation Experience event next month. And I think we all are crazy for this game. Personally, I feel like we are back in the great Ace Combat 7 hype of last year. So it has been officially confirmed that Ace Combat 7 will be present in the event which is the 2016 PlayStation Experience that will take place in the Anaheim Convention Center in California on December 3rd and 4th, which is also on a weekend. So mark in your calendars because I'll be making a live stream since the beginning of the event until we see Ace Combat 7. I really hope you guys can come and join this live stream so we can analyze, discuss a little bit about Ace Combat 7 with the new trailer and uh, everything uh, we, we see in the, in the trailer like I did the analysis in the other video for like, the, the very first trailer which was announced last year. The live stream will begin at about half an hour before the event starts, so that's about 9.30 a.m. local time. Now if you live in a different place or your time zone is different, uh, you can check the link in the description of the video and uh, I have converted the times to uh, different major series in the world. Most likely Ace Combat 7 will appear on the first day of the event, which is December 3rd, because, in, because that's the main day uh, of the uh, PlayStation experience. And by the way, this is the same event that where Ace Combat 7 was announced last year in 2015. So basically have been almost a year without any major updates on the game. The confirmation of Ace Combat 7's appearance is seen on the PlayStation blog and I post the link in the description uh, if you want to check it out, which is talking about the event and lists all the games that will be present there and there are more than a hundred of them, that's uh, really impressive. However, although we are all excited for Ace Combat 7, the truth is Sony actually screwed up. Uh, Ace Combat 7 was not supposed to be on the list because Namco Bandai wanted to make surprise appearance in the event and even Ace Combat producer Kazutoki Kono made a comment later about that on Twitter which by the way I have on my new Twitter so if you want you can go and check it out uh, just join in there uh, the link is also in the description another detail about the game is that the playable version of Ace Combat 7 will be there so you people that are going there, I have to admit I'm jealous of you and uh, if one of you guys uh, do go there, please uh, record a video and um, I'll, I'll seriously do an interview with you on what you think of it and uh, how, how the game looks like and everything like that. Now these are the, re the news related to the event, but there's more to it. As reported by Gematsu, Namco Bandai registered 5 trademarks in Europe for some upcoming games. They are Pac-Man Cash Rush, Pac-Man and Leprechaun, The Precious 12, Fortune Gears, and Skies Unknown. And as everything indicates, it looks like Skies Unknown will be the title of Ace Combat 7. Keep in mind though that Ace Combat games in Europe traditionally had different names. As an example, Ace Combat 4, 5, and 0, which are called Distant Thunder, Squadron Leader, and Ace Combat The Balkan War. They don't really say 0 in the European version of the game. So while that is a good indication that the title does not necessarily mean that the international or the Japanese version will take that name, it's I'm pretty sure that would be the name of the Ace Combat, at least for Europe. So these were the news on Ace Combat 7 that were very recently. If you're more curious about the details on the game, you can watch all the other videos I made. I made the Ace Combat 7 trailer analysis, which you can watch. I think that's pretty much all we know. Um, we don't have, we haven't had many uh, updates from there. And but uh, but before I finish the video, I want to talk some uh, about some theories about the Ace Combat 7 game. Let's first let's assume that the title will actually be Sky Zone Known. And that, uh, that's of course because I obviously don't see any other game from Namco Bandai having that title, it just, just doesn't fit. So if that is actually the title, then I could see two meanings for that. First, that can be a reference to UAVs dominating the skies as they are, you know, a fairly recent uh, technology. And uh, I think the overall theme of the game would be something like uh, human versus 
machines or like technology. And the second way I can see this title fitting the game is by having something to do with new heights. As we know, in the Ace Combat 7 game, we're gonna have the space elevator also called, also called the lighthouse. And uh, I think that kind of fits a little bit because we can also have some more space technology, which kind of reminds me of Ace Combat 3, the electrosphere. So what do you guys think about Ace Combat 7? Do you think that this title would actually fit in? What are your theories? And uh, I think we'll discover that a uh, little bit more about that pretty soon on the day, December 3rd. So just have make sure, make really make sure you have on your calendar December 3rd, starting at 10 a.m. That's the event. I'll be starting my live stream at 9:30 a.m. That's of course the time in Los Angeles. But in the, again, in the description, I've uh, I have converted the times. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Ace Combat 7 news video, and stay tuned for more because Ace Combat 7 is coming, and let the hype continue.